ever since that last clown chakra video. This has been on my mind. A lot of people, like a lot of people, statistically significant numbers of people, have been experiencing this whole clown chakra vibe. And yeah, I gotta say, that's been a trip. If we needed more proof for collective consciousness at work, there's that. So a lot of people also weighed in on what exactly is the clown chakra, and one particular member of the audience submitted this. Hey, y'all at Spirit Science, thank you for putting up this video. You had mentioned that anyone who has had similar experiences to share, and I have. I've been visited by a mad clown figure during my times of what felt like sanity dissolving. It would come to me in hysterical laughter and almost demonic life feelings enveloping my body, almost coaxing you to feel insane. Even typing about it is giving me chills. From my understanding, this is a force that holds no respect or regard for others. Everything is a joke, nothing is real anymore, and the world is nothing but a channel for endless chaos. This is the unbridled child who has become enveloped in psychosis that has no stability. Thus, the world is clay, and whomever or whatever you encounter is merely material to mold into your reality. I believe it also holds a powerful message that we, as mad creators, can blindly and chaotically unhinge our world into chaos if believing you're alone in mind, body, or spirit. But such force is also able to be channeled into a powerful tool, one to carve boundaries and pathways for our life, to artistically interlace ourselves into the collective while beholding unto our individual sovereignty, the fractal tile that is you and not lost into the void between, yourself and the all simultaneously. Knowing you are both chaos and order, holding close to the mad clown until its cruel grin fades into a frown as tears begin to stream in cries for sanity to return. And so along comes a light to burn away the paint and the sinister self fades into a being of creation. Creators must hold reverence to their abilities. In so, respect must be shared among all creators, yourself and all that exists, so that this liquid world doesn't wash away as we tear it all to pieces with fractured consciousness. We must hold onto sanity as we swim in the waters of insanity. There we remember that we are powerful. Swim, my friends, but don't get lost at sea. Now, honestly, I don't know that I need to say anything else here, but actually, perhaps I do have something to add. We shouldn't consider the clown chakra as an actual chakra of the human body, but as the vortex of chaos that can pull us into hopelessness, despair, and madness when we lose our center or lose our way. Chakra, after all, means wheel and is a spinning vortex. Generally though, each chakra goes somewhere and the clown chakra would then be a vortex that doesn't really go anywhere at all, except into pure insanity, a mixing of ideas chaotically without any real direction. It's the part of us that says, ah, the world is going to shit, so I don't care what happens. And might as well do whatever we want without regard for the consequences because nothing matters. You see, one thing that makes humanity powerful and gives us strength is the connections that unite us just as our friend described in his post we just read. It is in the connections that we discover our unity and the unity is the light which binds us together. We anchor to the light, we draw to the light and the light is truth and the light is love. So I ask you today, please stay in your heart, stay centered, keep breathing and go and give someone you love a big hug today. Show someone that you care and show up for them and help build connections with them by being there for them. We're gonna get through these crazy times. Much love and God bless. Hey, by the way, in closing, if you haven't taken the 12D Shield meditation yet, please check it out. You'll find a link in the description or here on the end screen. It's awesome and a lot of people are really loving it. I'm sure you will too. Cheers.